All right. I keep doing this. I keep going there to continue, but it's it's in the bottom left. <laughs> uh, welcome to the stream. This is the day after the whole Mixer thing, and it's fine. Mixer is okay. There's no issues today. Uh, I think I just need to return now. Although I think there's something I can do here. See if the uh, the love quest is ready. You like how the screen title told me what to do next? Well, there's the old saying where like, if you have to explain a joke, it's not very good. The same comes to interface design. Is like if you have to explain it too much, it's probably not a good design. Like, it should just be intuitive. Ooh. My sister made it home. I was worried about you. Thanks for your help. I forgot to get this off this. Okay, well, that's fine. I've got the next week off, so we're going to make good efforts into getting this game done. If you'll note, it is Tuesday here for me and I'm playing games, so that should note my commitment to getting this game done. It hasn't progressed yet, so... Okay. Yeah. Since we used it in the dungeon. Uh, next is Heart Medallion. I have enough money for it. Maybe my suffering is going to end now. And then I gotta go clean up that lady's house. You grab. <laughs> it's a button, it's not auto grab. Okay, let me look at the map real quick. Oh, wait, I can't. All right. Most, most important item. I also appear to have gotten an extra heart now. I don't have enough, unfortunately. So now things are going to be better. up the part where I shatter my knees. Oh. 
Oh yeah, there's this now too, I got. I'm already setting this up. <laughs> because why not? I think this is the dusty house. Hi Link, are you tired? You look bait. I know how you feel. I'm always up for a quick nap. Just make yourself at home. Hi. Welcome. So here's the thing. My house is terribly dirty. Pippet is always telling me to do dusting around here, but I can't just bring myself to do it. That's why I wanted to ask you. I'm on it. A broom? Okay. I mean, damn. For a house to get this this dusty. Oh, oh my God! I just remembered something. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I forgot about the noises she makes. <laughs> it just. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> she even she even turns around. Oh dear, I need to get my head out of the gutter. Why did I program that in? Apparently the Joy-Cons had a microphone on it. Oh no. Please no. It is my hope that when I get up to the 3DS game, the two that remain, that there is no microphone stuff in it. I don't remember a Link Between Worlds having it. There's no more dust in my home. Thank you, Link. You brightened my day. I don't, I don't get why she makes these noises. My home is sparkling clean again. It feels so much better when the place isn't under a blanket of dust. Gratitude. Okay, I should probably check, because now that's 20. Don't tell Pippet about this. He'll only get angry at me for spending money on something he thinks I should be doing myself. Keep it a secret, right? Oh, keep it a secret, huh? The Switch has a microphone, though. though. It has a microphone, though. It does have a microphone. It's just, I guess the problem is when it's in docked more mode, it just doesn't work. You'd have to walk up to the TV and blow into the mic. Hey, Dragon Fury, thank you for the raid. How's it going? I'm pretty sure it does, because for voice chat. Hang on, does the Switch have a microphone or am I imagining it? Switch microphone. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, I see. It's like the adapter supports, the audio jack supports a microphone. Okay. 
So it has microphone capability, but it doesn't have like a an actual microphone on the unit itself. That makes sense. Hello, Pancake Hyena. Welcome. How goes the awesome night? It's going all right. Just started. Uh, I've been playing through all the Zelda games and I'm up to Skyward Sword now, but I'm doing hero mode, so it's been interesting. For those that don't know, hero mode is uh, you take double damage, no hearts will drop in the game. So the only way you can heal is to either sit down in a chair or to uh, carry potions on you. Oh yeah, and stamina uh, drains a lot quicker, so. Ah, oh, 30. Okay, I don't have enough. I've gotten through three dungeons. It's a pretty good challenge, I think. It makes you play a bit more carefully. I'm also using motion controls, which I didn't the first time I played this, so... But... I'm trying to get through all these games before Tears of the Kingdom comes out, so... I've got... Six weeks until, uh... Until it comes out. And I've got three more games to go. I think I should be okay. It's just Breath of the Wild is a bit long. But, uh, yeah, enough about me. Uh... How was your stream? What were you up to? Oh, right, you have to find the missing thing. Yep, 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 yep. We're supposed to go back to the forest, but I came up here just to get the heart medallion, because I think that allows hearts to spawn in the game. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to the overworld now for a minute. Sailing the seas as pirates? Ah. It's always fun. Oh. Again? Okay, let me go to this one. This one's closer. Oh, it's got multi-marker now. Oh, man, these... There we go. Okay, I have to recenter it. Okay. There we go. Is it that small island over there? Okay, it is. It's just on the outer rim. That. <laughs> Wait a minute. When you. What did I just get, then? Wait, huh? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, what? That's a life medal. Oh, it's different. Oh, wow. No, okay, this was the thing I was looking for. <laughs> okay, uh, I gotta go back, then, and swap this... I mean, that's fine. Having extra health, you know what? That's, that's a good thing. I'll need it. Because the last boss did four hearts worth of damage in one hit.
I'll just swap out the one that gives me more treasure. Oh, you know what I'll do? Since I have to talk to her anyway, I'll make a couple of days pass, because I, I want to do that quest. It's just... The advice was, every time you come back to Skyloft, just make sure you sleep. Otherwise, the quest just never progresses. Okay. I'll do it a couple times. Hey, Evie. Thanks for the raid. How's it going? How's things? One more time. Mikey, hello. Alright. Now I'll go see her. Clive, hello, hello. How's it going? I'm up to Skyward Sword now. I'm playing Hero Mode, so... If you don't know what Hero Mode is, it's, uh... You take double damage, you can't heal naturally, so hearts don't drop. And, uh, your stamina wears out a lot faster. So, the last boss was hitting me for four hearts a hit, which was, uh, tricky. <laughs> Do I accept Bezo bucks? Bezo bucks? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Bezo has his own currency. You came to see me, I'm so happy. Okay, good, it progressed. You make me so happy, I think I'm gonna keel over. The three heart thing I'll be doing for Breath of the Wild. So, that is going to happen. Oh, Mikey, thank you so much for using that prime. Appreciate it, dude. Lately, when I think about you, my head gets fuzzy. My heart races. I get short of breath and all I feel... Wait, and I feel all dizzy. There we go. Could this be? Yeah. yeah. I can't believe you just said it out loud. It's so embarrassing. Whoops, kind of forgot myself there. Back to work. I was going to ask you if you wanted to take care of me forever. Sure. I <laughs> <laughs> can't let Mikey make you look bad. <laughs> well, thank you, Ivy. I appreciate that a lot as well. Really, that makes you so happy. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I need to learn how to keep these delirious dreams in check. No, wait. Ah, uh, I mean, there's some items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. All right. I mean, this kind of does remove a little bit of the challenge, but... So, according to this, this will allow hearts... Did the notification go through? Yeah, it appeared. I just don't have anything set up. That pops up and... And, uh... Does something on the screen. Keep it clean and minimal here. I mean, if you want, I can do my warrior voice and just be like, Oh, yes! Eh, hey, what is this? Thank you for the subscription. Oh, yes! Alright, I don't know. I gotta make it nighttime and 
Oh, you know what? I should have just done that outside. For April Fools, I played WarioWare and did the Warrior voice for two hours straight, and it, the next day, my my voice was feeling a little bit <laughs> bad. So I'm trying to take it easy, a little. So after this game, I have a link between worlds, and then uh, Triforce Heroes, then it's Breath of the Wild, so I think I'm looking good. I have the next week off. Is this the right house? Yes, there's the bed. So I'm going to power through this in the next week. And then that should give me enough time to play Breath of the Wild with the three heart thing. And then I'll just play Tears when it comes out. So that's the plan. Okay, now talk to the father. Howdy, Link. You picked a good time to visit. Why? What do you mean, why? This is important. My little girl's in trouble. Yep, the shine and star of the item check is the source of my problem. That's my darling daughter, in case you forgot. She's been out of sorts lately. She'll be sitting and staring off into yonder, and then she'll get redder than a tomato on a vine. Wait, just a gosh darn minute. I know what's going on. My sunshine's got herself an unwanted admirer. Not that I can blame the fella. She's as sweet as honey and twice as pretty as a spring flower. Nope, three times as pretty. It's no wonder the boys buzz around her like a swarm of amorous bees. But I won't stand for it. No way. No how. I'm going to find the rascal and give him a good whooping. You gotta help me out. You see anyone buzzing around my little flower, you give him what for and send him packing. I'll keep my peepers peeled too, but I can't stand watch all day long. I promise I'll make it worth your while. You chase the varmint off and I'll let you chat <clears throat> with the apple of my eye. You don't say a word. I can see how you feel by the spark in your eye. There's not a fella alive who wouldn't jump at this chance. Ease this old man's heart and get rid of the low life who's pestering my baby girl and counting on you. I don't know, this, this dude just looks like what Link's gonna become at the age of 40. <laughs> He's even sort of dressed that way a little as well. Oh, hello, darling. Welcome. You've come to see me at home. I'm so happy. Uh -huh. I forget what you have to do now. I think I have to go see her. I have to see her at her job now, I think. <laughs> I just love that. He hires me to go check out on his daughter and then I go sleep in her bed. Not a very bright man. Yes, that's it, Link. Keep a good eye on her. Good idea. Sleep in her bed. Oh, hello, darling. Um, I, I want you to visit me at my house tonight. I have something I need to say. My house is just next to the bazaar. You'll definitely come, right? I'll be waiting. Oh, um, do you have something you want me to... Do you have something you want to pick up or leave at the store? No, thanks. Okay. Almost done. Ah, oh, the hearts are growing again. <laughs> okay, so I 
As long as I keep this medallion, it's going to be okay. Sleep in her bed. I was asking this the other night, but does anyone get into bed like that? Diving into bed. Not climbing in, just a full-on dive. I don't know, I'd be afraid to break my bed. The truth is, there's something I'm just dying to get off my chest. I'm going to ask you something, point blank, okay? What do you think about me? You store items. I forget. Oh. Yeah, I'd do it. You're not lying? Really? I'm so happy. I feel like I'm in a dream. I have to hear it again just to be sure. I do. You're not lying. It's true. Thank you so much. But I understand your true feelings better than you know. You're saying that you cannot give yourself over to love just yet, that you have much more important things to do right now. You have some kind of serious job you have to attend to first, right? If you weren't off on an adventure, you probably wouldn't need to come by the item checks often. And that's why I won't ask any more of you. I'll just watch over you, protecting you from afar, keeping a vigilant eye on your items. And when your important work is done, we'll tell my dad we're in love. Until then, we'll keep our love secret, darling. I'll see you again at the item check. Okay. That's it. It's an aggressive approach to getting into bed, right? But you see it all the time in cartoons and no. games and sometimes movies. That you link what seems to be the problem. My baby girl's as restless as a twisted sheet in the wind. Is there something in the water? No, but there's something in her bed! <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I think that's all I can do quest-wise for now. Alright. Time for progress. Rough landing. I think I might have broke something. Hey, Link, seriously. Didn't anyone ever teach you to land without crash? What the hell? Ah! The beds? Tiny beds? What? What are they? And what is that thing? Where am I? What's going on here? Ever since Zelda vanished, you've been zipping in and out of town all in a hurry. So I figured I'd tell you and you might lead me to Zelda. But this is so wild. Seriously, what is that thing over there? And what's with all these trees? There are so many. 
Just give it to me straight. I can take it. Where are we? Where's Zelda? What's the deal with this place? If there's supposed to be nothing below the clouds, what's all this? I wonder if they'll ever give Link voice acting, ever. Ugh, uh, well... You're kind of imploding my mind right now. But I think I get what you're saying. If I've got this right, Zelda is down here somewhere and she's okay. Yeah, she's... she's okay. Oh wow, that's so great. <laughs> Hearing that is such a huge weight off my mind. Chris Pratt? Oh, no, please. He's already going to be Garfield. You know, like, it's sort of alright down here. This place needs a name. Yeah, a name fitting for this rugged, adventurous wilderness. From now on, we'll call it... Grooseland. Uh. So... Let me see if I got this right. The old lady living in the temple down the road here knows where Zelda is. I see. Right, Link. Thanks for getting me here. You've done a good job. You can head home. But Big Grease will handle the search for Zelda from here. Yep, I'll track her down, save her, and then give her a lift back to Skyloft. <laughs> then when we get back, I'll ask her if she wants to make our whole going out thing official, and then the two of us will get some quality time together. <laughs> anyway, the point is your work here is done. I got it covered from here. Now it's off to find that old lady you were talking about. Catch you later. Hey! Oh, hey, bud, we meet again in a hurry as usual. I've been keeping busy too, checking out the wonders of the world. Want to hear more about the research? I think I have to do this. Okay, prepare to be amazed. I made a huge discovery while I was out doing my field research. So get a load of this. Apparently there are walls and statues that respond to beautiful tones. Wild, right? Want to know more? Okay. All right. That is all the archaeological enthusiasm I like to see. Uh, before we get into details about walls and statues, there is something I'd better ask you about. Ever heard of a blessed butterfly? No? Alright, so a blessed butterfly is this kind of pretty blue butterfly. You may not believe it, but they're super handy. They live in all kinds of places you would never expect. Even in a land like this, you will see plenty of them. Ancient terms mention these butterflies flapping around in packs or by certain walls and statues. Yeah, okay. Yep, yep, yep. I remember this now. I'm interested in walls. <laughs> hey. I'm a wall enthusiast. From what I've learned, it sounds like these walls were left behind by the goddess for the hero mentioned in Legends. The things the hero desires are said to spring forth from behind the walls. That is why they call them goddess walls, I suppose. Want to hear more? Sure. Ooh. That's the spirit. Sadly, this is as far as my research has gotten me. Okay. Yes, I have to play the harp in front of these walls. Um, Get the net. And then... Oh shit. No, 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 no. I gotta run. Roll. There we go. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me, Granny. You're messing with me. Say it again, I dare you. I only speak the truth. You are not the one who will save her. The spirit made in your Zelda can only be saved by another. It has been his fate to do this thing. 
and in doing so save us, as it was decided long before you were brought crying into this world. <laughs> Shut it, Granny. You obviously don't know me well, because if you did, you'd know that if anyone's going to save Zelda, it's Groose. How could it not be me? Plus, if it ain't me, why would I even be here? Psh. If I'm not up to the job of being the hero, then just who is? Huh? Oh, now I getcha. Link, Granny here has been trying to tell me you're gonna be the big hero who rescues Zelda. What a joke. Look, all I've heard so far is a bunch of babbling about destiny, but that's a load of garbage. I know you, you're not hero, shrimp. Yeah, he can make that noise for me. <laughs> I'm not making that noise. <laughs> Greetings, Link. Were you able to catch up with Zelda? Ah, I see. So the Guardian was there as well, was she? The one you saw by Zelda's side is known as Impa. She's being sent forth by the goddess to aid Zelda in her quest. The two have traveled somewhere in order to complete, uh, accomplish the great task Destiny has set before them. However, now that Impa has destroyed the gate that they used, there is only one way left to find them. Interesting how you should try that look. I mean, if you if you were to take story foreshadowing, what do you think that represents? You wouldn't you'd, you'd have to have some sort of attachment. A clock. You know what you should do, Evie? You should just find the clock that Flavor Flav used, but just do it with your hair. Oh, that would be a look. Anyway, however, now that Impa has destroyed the gate that they use, there is only one way left to find them. You must make use of the harp given to you by Zelda. Tell me, Link, have you attempted to play the harp that you received? My sense is that you have not yet familiarized yourself with it. Very well, I should teach you how to play it. Listen well and do as I say. First, press X, ready the harp. Strumming. Wait, this isn't motion control? Oh, it is. It is. She's a metronome, yeah. Good, you learn fast. Now for your next lesson. There's also another reason. <laughs> but that is one. Focus on playing time with the pulsing circle of light. When your timing is right, I shall join my voice to your harp. Listen well, for the song I sing will be of great help to you in your journey. But you know what? This is infinitely better than what I had to do in Spirit Tracks. The final boss fight, I spent 25 minutes tr blowing into the microphone with a hairdryer trying to get it to register the stupid song I had to play. This is a step up. <laughs> Alright, uh, one mistake. But see, this is an example of it done well. Very lenient, got it first try. Ballad of the Goddess, it's a mysterious melody passed down from ancient times. The harp you hold is known as the goddess's harp. It is a divine instrument of the goddess who once watched over this land. The melodies it brings to life have the power to produce a variety of strange and otherworldly effects. 
The great slab standing before you is known as a gate of time. It is the last of its kind in existence, the only portal binding our world to the one where Zelda now resides. If you manage to open the gate and pass through, you will likely end up in the same place as Zelda. But you will need to endure many hardships and put yourself in great danger to awaken the gate from its dormant state. Through your journey, uh, though your journey will put you in harm's way, Link, you must endure. It is your fate as the chosen hero of the guard. <laughs> This shaking, I fear the seal has been broken. I expected that it would react to your summoning the gate, but I never imagined the seal would break so quickly. Link, there will be time to explain later. Right now, you must hurry to the bottom of the pit outside. Oh, this part's gonna suck. I wonder how much damage it's going to do to me, if it hits me. <laughs> oh, what's with all the shaking? The whole ground is heaving, I thought it was supposed to be solid down there. Go quickly, Link. Check on the ceiling spike at the center of the pit. There is nothing natural about these tremors. That monster could free itself at any moment. Approach the pit with caution. Yeah, the stamina drain thing is also gonna <laughs> make this harder. Before I do. Just want to make sure I'm fully stocked. Get ready for bed. No worries, Evie. Well, thank you so much for the raid and also for the sub. Appreciate it a lot. Get some rest. I'll I'll be popping in for sure because uh, I got the next week off. Oh yeah, it's toes. <laughs> I forgot about it's egg toes. I knew it, the seal has given way. I'll explain later, but now is the time for action. We must keep that beast from escaping that pit. Yeah, I, too, I took two extra days, but you know, there's the Good Friday and the Easter Monday, so when I take two days off, it basically makes it a week off. Best time to take time off. Okay. Okay. It looks like this hero medallion's gonna gonna help a lot here. What? 
Oh no. It's not a sky it's not a skyward strike. Up. <laughs> Up. There we go. I thought it was a skyward strike, it's not. That's just the first time. Oh man. Crush the stamina flower. going well, I haven't taken a hit. You love his cute little toes? I don't know. They look like eggs to me. <laughs> how's, how's it cute? Has this gigantic maw. Oh, the stamina thing is, is kind of being a hindrance right now. Stubby legs. <laughs> They're not tiny. But, I mean, maybe relative to the rest of the body, but. Look at that mouth. Look at how many teeth. There's probably teeth on top of the teeth. There's the three symbols. Now, Link. Strike the ceiling spike with a skyward strike to restore the seal. Okay, good. I, I, I can do that. <laughs> Cats have vicious looking teeth, but that only makes them look cuter. But... I don't know. They make cute sounds, don't they? And do 
cute things. That thing does, isn't doing anything cute. Nice going, Link. They're also affectionate. So unless that thing started rubbing up against Link, I don't know. <laughs> Though the imprisoned had only just begun to awaken and break its bonds, I'm impressed you were able to restore the seal, keeping it captive. Unfortunately, you have only succeeded in buying us a little more time in which to act. The behemoth you beat back into confinement is a horror of unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I would not be surprised if the seal gave way again soon. So you are left with precious little time to complete the task with which you have been entrusted. Return to the sealed temple. There is much to discuss. He waddles. Are you going to call him waddles? Are you going to call him waddles? So then it's like he has a cute name as well. His name is Waddles. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. Yes, I believe a shot of holy light from your skyward strike might just do it. Sorry to disappoint you, boy, but for now your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. Farron Woods, Elden Volcano, and Lanero Desert. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify your sword in their heat. Only after your blade has been tempered by the three fires will it be fully imbued with the great power for which you search. <sighs> Clues to finding those sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of a song precious to your people, the Ballad of the Goddess. These clues are your best hope of finding your way to the flames. Return to Skyloft somewhere on your island is one whose knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction. Gapora. You were not intimidated the first time you saw him. Oh, I mean, definitely not intimidating and horror, but I don't know. Cute. <laughs> I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. Me? Well, there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Ah, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play in all this. Mm. Link, go now. Trust in the fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Zelda's fate. <laughs> she looks like a pumpkin. No, I, can, I can definitely say that. But that's just that's just old person. We're all gonna look like pumpkins one day. Before I go up, there was uh, a spot that I saw where I could blow it up. Oh, come on. I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless. <laughs> I forgot about this. Hold on. More beetles. I'm just a dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? I forget if we need to do anything. Or we just leave him be. Oh, 
but you can't slam your fist like that because you have an extra finger. Damn. What a ah uh, hook shot. But this might just be a navigation thing. Okay, this is what I was interested in over here. I mean, even if you have a normal amount of fingers, you wouldn't want to slam your fists like that too much. Yeah, okay, this was nothing. It's just a standard formation. Alright, I'm gonna return to the sky. I don't think there's anything to do here. There's a nerve that, I guess, paralyzes you if you hit it too hard. Kind of like if you, uh... What, what, what's, what, what is the point of that? It doesn't take you up. Do I need to write... <laughs> what? Why is that there if you can't land? There we go. Weird. Alright, I'm just gonna re return to the sky from in there. We'll be back for Grease later. isn't technically outside. I, I, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Right, so here. You found some. What have you found? Butterflies that respond to those terms. If I could create if I could not create beautiful turns, if wild animals threaten to roll me downhill, what can we do? That is it. One of the talking statues that the ancient text spoke of. There's no mistaking it. They just give you rewards from memory, anyway. Uh, save, and we're going to the sky. Once you hit your elbow on the ground so hard that it paralyzes your arm into contraction, Gee, ugh, jeez, that's painful. I've only done one gnarly thing in terms of injury. I've never broken a bone. But once when playing on a playground, um, the best way I can explain it is like I ran up this ladder, which you're supposed to put your hands on, but I ran up it because I was a kid and some of that stuff was fun. I used to jump off stuff. Anyway, I ran up this ladder, and, um, there was a log when you got to the top of it, so I tripped over the log, um, and the way I landed, I thought I was fine, 
but, uh, you know, when recess ended and when I was walking back to class, I felt something weird, and when I looked, uh, I don't want to say it so it grosses people out, but let's just say, like, my knee was, uh, was not in a good state. <laughs> it was, it required a lot of stitches. There was a nail protruding, when, and I felt, my knee felt onto it, so, yeah, it was not great. But I didn't, I, I, I guess I didn't feel any pain, but then later, when it became apparent that, uh, what had happened, then it started hurting, so I don't know. That's, I think, the worst thing I've done to myself. Besides from that, not r I ha I've injured myself. I have, but not nothing that's required stitches. Aside from that, a kid at your school did the, the exact same thing. No kidding. All right, Strom. I remember this one was a little bit... Some of these are a little finicky. They require a specific spot. I'll go look elsewhere. You used to swing as high as you could, then you would jump off on the swing. I used to do that too. <laughs> Sometimes I'd stand on it and someone would push whilst I was standing on it and then I'd jump off it. Kids have like a different kind of vitality. It's just, I would not be able to do any other stuff that I did as a kid. I would, I would probably get more injured. Oh wait, what am I doing? I was gonna go to bed, but I'm gonna, I should say Gapora. I don't think there's anything else I can progress now. <laughs> Broken heart, yeah, but that's not what we want. I think fl we can start Fledge's quest. Fledge isn't here. There's some quests that require quite a bit of investment, so... I just want to make sure that I'm on top of that stuff. Fledge is the one who is doing exercise at night. Getting swell. But I guess it's not up to that point yet. I think there's there's a plot point that happens, and then dude wants to get stronger. pretty upbeat lately. That's the spirit. Zelda will come home before you even know it. Just keep an eye- just keep on believing that while you wait for her to come back. Yeah, not yet. That's Hallwell. Mm. Where's Gipora? There we go. Ooh. You're back, Link. Good to see you're still in one piece. So, how's it going down there? 
Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Hmm. You used to see how long you could stare at the sun. No, confirm me. Why would you do that? Jeez. That's like... That's horrible. <laughs> But, you know, again, it's just kids. Things must be terribly... Ter uh, wait. Things must be terribly trying for her down there, that's the one. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? You know, I'm not much of a singer. It's just lyrics. You just want the lyrics? Oh, what a relief. You really put me on the spot there for a moment. I believe the lyrics go something like this. But yeah, he's still singing it here, technically, right? Gapora looks like he stares at the sun. Oh, would you know firsthand? Or is that how your eyes look like? Oh, you're guided by the servant of the goddess. Unite earth and sky and bring light to the land. That's the first part. But as I recall, there's a second verse to the song. Oh, I can do that. Show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower before your path will open. In the heavenly song you will hear. I believe that's the whole thing. The light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen it in the plaza. Whirling sails. I know what it is already. I just need the other part now. I believe we do dowsing and then we go pick it up from, uh, it's fallen somewhere. If I remember correctly, like, we have to douse for it and then it's back on, uh, the mountains. Okay, here, stop. There might be a specific spot I need to stand. There's one here, come on, these butterflies are here for that reason. I swear I did this in the previous playthrough. <laughs> I just went insane on this one. I don't remember the outcome though. Okay, let's try here. Let's just go. That's not cool. I thought that would work. Oh, 
Alright, well, let's just do the thing. Thank you so much for tracking down Kukio Link. It's such a gorgeous day today too. On a day like today, there's nothing I'd love more than to head over to the Lumpy Pumpkin for a sip of soup. But of course, my wife asked me to fix the cupboard, so I'm not going anywhere. Ah, uh, the story of my life. I can't remember if we have to bring him soup or not. <laughs> so you're curious about that windmill, eh? Pretty smart design, I gotta say. See, you can turn the windmill so it always can catch the wind no matter which way it's blowing but well there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so you could turn it the thing flew off ages ago so it must have dropped off the edge beneath the clouds and then comes the magical ability to be able to track said object the windmill has been useless sitting there ever since i highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land dousing ability you want to know if i could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller well if i had the propeller i could probably rig something together to get it back on there sure i think i need to bring him soup and do this so let's do both but how would you even go f looking for the propeller in the first place once something falls through the clouds it's gone for good hang on come to think of it gondo at the scrap shop told me that someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. But we're talking about a tale that's been passed down over a lot of years, so I wouldn't put too much stock in it. Okay. I've been, so, I've been hearing a weird rumor. Apparently, after nightfall, people have been hearing a woman sobbing in the dormitory. Gives you the creeps. Okay, hang on. What is this? Betty's missing rattle. Is that the one? That's the unhappy baby, that's not it. Pumpkin harvest, cat crystal ball. Done the injured, done the fledges conference. Dodo's party wheel, what's Dodo's party wheel? It's not it. Someone crying. Hmm. Not sure what this could be referring to. Fallen's love letter. Okay, here we go. Mentions woman crying at night in the Night Academy. Right, so Henya... Okay. Alright. I got it. Hey kid, what's up? You look like you need to get something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You got a favor to ask. Yes. Huh? Huh? It's about this old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with. You probably just came here to make fun of the crazy junk guy for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Well, get in line. I've heard it before. Wait, that's not why you're here? You say you need to pick up something from below the clouds with this robot. Do you know what that means? That means you believe in my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me, but I don't think I can help you. You see, my grandpa's old robot... What's it called again? Oh, hey, that's right. I remember. His name is Scrapper. He may not look much to the eye. He may not... <laughs> Wait, he may not be much to look at these days, but he was an amazing robot once. When you called him, he would go anywhere and haul anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's just another busted old hunk of junk. 
But old Gramps did tell me this. You can get him working again with the extract of an ancient flower. It's like oil to this guy, but I never heard of... Oh, there you go. I have him. Ooh. What? You have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. <laughs> so this is an ancient flower. I can feel some slick, oily stuff coming out of its stem. Great. With this, we can fix Scrapper. Wait right there. I'll have him up and running in no time. There you go. Thank you. I've got a full tank of energy and I'm ready to carry anything. Huh? Who's this green clad individual of small stature? Whoa, it's all. Can you believe that? I guess I really did fix him. Say, <laughs> wait, this kid gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Go on, say thank you. Hmm, are you sure it was him? Well then, I extend my reluctant thanks to him just in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. Okay. Hey, now watch it. There's no way to talk to someone who's just saved your life. Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around, so you're going to help him. <laughs> this individual may have restored my operations, but I am not inclined to offer assistance. Serving children is very low risk. Le very low in my task priority. Low risk. Master Link, materials from the windmill have yielded a signal that you may search for using your dowsing ability. Use it to locate the falling propeller. However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return it to the sky. Who are you? Your name is Fee. Should I call you Mistress Fee? Are you looking for something, Mistress Fee? I understand. At your request, I'll carry anything, regardless of weight or destination. Master, we now have means to bring the propeller back to Skyloft. You must immediately begin your search for the windmill. Propeller. Master Short Pants, I offer assistance. I can now detect Mistress Fee's thought waves. Should you need me, ask Mistress Fee to call me and I will arrive with haste. So how do you plan to recover all the stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know, you could always ask the fortune teller over there. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things, he's always right on the money. Okay. Scrapper is cool. I did like the Master Short Pants name. It's pretty funny. Well, since we're here... There's a bunch of gratitude crystals around town at night, but I don't want to get them yet. Wait, wasn't... Hold on. Can you go into Zelda's room? No, that's Fledge. Fledge is not here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, let's just go. We're sleeping until night time. that? Oh, the push-ups. There you go. <laughs> you can start that quest. No, that's good. I think all that's needed is just time on this one. Five, six, 
Seven. <sighs> Ugh, let me catch my breath. Oh, what am I doing? I'm training. I can't even lift a single barrel. Pathetic. That's why I, I need to get stronger. I'm a bit embarrassed about it, though, so I do it at night when no one's around to laugh at me. But it's not going so well. I'm just too tired. I was actually ready to throw in the towel. Uh, finally, there's a potion that would give me stamina that I could drink that and maybe find the last bit of strength I need. <laughs> Fat chance, right? I suppose I'll just have to put my nose to the grindstone. Yep, buckle down in my bootstraps. Anyway. I'll just keep working on this as long as I can, I guess. It's just delivering the, sta the stamina potion to him. So we can do one now, and I think we have to do another one later. But that's good. I need to get the wallet to maximum, because there's a heart container. Ah. How are things? I thought it was her we need to talk to. Oh no, there it is. Somebody please help me. Paper. Someone please bring me paper. Any kind of paper. I think that's it, right? She doesn't say anything. She's supposed to complain about it, but she's not complaining. So that's interesting. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. It's daytime complaint. Okay. That makes sense. I'm pretty confident that I can get this game done in the next couple of days, like... I'm gonna play it tomorrow during the day, so... I think we'll be able to get a bulk of it done. I, I just want to get to the Link Between Worlds, to be honest. Like, I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> I swear I hear Yep, okay, there we go. Cool. Where's Lava Boy? There he is. Hmm, should I give it to her? Should I not give it to her? Don't sneak up on me like that. I have a serious dilemma on my mind right now. Are you, and you're distracting me. Dilemma? Well, you want to hear about it? Normally I would never, ever tell someone like you, but these are dire times. Come to think of it, you might just be the person I need to talk to. You seem to be pretty good with the ladies. Ugh, I can't believe I just said that, but whatever. Let's do this. Link, I have a task for you. So listen up. Your mission is to take this piece of paper to a certain pers person. It's a very important piece of paper. Make sure you deliver it. I love how the camera pans to a bathroom. Huh, what's your problem? Why are you looking at the restroom? What? There's someone in the restroom at night who wants paper? You fool, how dare you? This is no ordinary piece of paper. It's a letter. A very special one at that. I put my heart into every word. I guess you could say it's sort of like, uh, all right, fine, it's a love letter. And that is why you will not under any circumstances ever allow it to be used as toilet paper. Do you hear me? So listen up, the person you must give it to is a girl, a senior student. Her name is Karen. You know who I mean, right? She's the one with the round hat. She's really cute. You know the one. And don't you dare, not even by mistake, even think of giving it to that weirdo in the restroom. Swear it. Here it is. I'm entrusting this letter to you, so don't read what's inside. Do you hear me? Okay. I'm counting on you. I believe I gave it to the toilet last time, so I guess this time I, I'll go through with the love letter. Where is Karen's room? There she is. She's not here. Which means she's probably outside. So... Uh, where is she? Is 
she's in door somewhere. I know who, who it is. Oh yeah, there she is. Ah, uh, hello Pippet. How can I get you to notice me? Ah, oh, Link. What's the matter? Do you uh, need something? I wonder if he heard what I was just talking about. Give a letter. A letter? Could it be from Pippet? Here you go. Oh, thank you. I'll just take that. I wonder who it's from. Well, this is some really terrible handwriting. Anyway, never mind. Let's see what it says. Greetings, my love. For you is wi wider than the horizon and deeper than the clouds. It would... I would very much like it if you would go out with me. Your brave knight, Colin. Wow, this Colin guy. Isn't he one of Grus's flunkies? And this? This is a love letter from that Colin kid, right? Oh boy. <laughs> See, I have to say, he really put his heart into it and everything. I don't know, maybe I should consider going out with Colin. Ha! As if. Uh, I wonder what Pippet would think if he knew about this. You got rejected. So this... I mean, I guess he's shy. <laughs> what, you actually did it? You gave the letter to Karen? Oh no, oh no, what now? What do I do? Maybe I should go see what she thought of the letter. Oh, but this is so embarrassing. <sighs> what should I do? Uh, okay, where's his room? That's Fledge. Okay, we need to go here later. Right next to the door. Alright, got it. I'm gonna go buy a stamina potion and come back. I mean, the letter was fine. I think where he fucked up was the part where he said, You're knight. <laughs> Your knight in shining armor. Because you are but a mere damsel in distress. Aye. And I hang on a sec. I see you're looking well these days. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you'd found the time to gather a magnificent variety of treasures. If a treasure you seek, I have a mystical vision. Not yet. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. If you want the potion powered up, no, we're good. We just need it. Okay, it's time to make it night time and collect on that dude. We're doing the delivery for him. Fledge. Skip through his dialogue real quick. There you go. Take it. Really? Thanks. I owe you one. Oh, I can feel my muscles perking back up already. It's just that at this rate, I don't know if I'll ever get strong and burly. Try best. Alright, that's exactly what I need to do. No more whining. I just need to push myself. Thank you, Link. I'll make you proud. You'll see. I'll be super burly in no time. Back to training. Come back so I can show you the new me. Okay. We'll be back later. Okay. And now, where is Loverboy's room? It's just here. Ooh. Oh, it's you, Link. What do you want with me? Huh? What am I doing? <laughs> bugs. I'm looking at bugs. Oh. Bugs are amazing, even more amazing than Grus in a lot of ways. 
Oh, yeah, but I'm not saying Grease isn't as amazing as a bug. Look, I just really like bugs. I like to collect all kinds of bugs. Sometimes I even dream about having, like, an entire island full of bugs. How about this? If you find the bug, come sell it to me. Sure. <laughs> I won't just buy any bug, though. I buy... What I buy on any given day depends on the mood I'm in. Oh, and another thing. This might bug you a little bit. <laughs> But I only want to do these deals at night. I have a reputation to protect, though. Got it? I don't mean to be a pest, but I'm counting you. Five rupees? Just one. <laughs> I forget if you get anything for doing it, or if it's just a way of making money. Where is... Where is he? Please forget about the paper, goodbye. gone. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it actually flushes. He's not in his room. Where is he? Um... Maybe I missed I missed it. Oh well I mean either way, let's just make it morning. That's all I needed to do. All the same. Hi. Thank you for bringing me that letter, Link. I wonder what Pippet would say if he knew about this. It's not progressing. Why aren't you going? Uh. Oh, you know what? Maybe I need to talk to Pippa. That might be the missing piece. Uh. Karen got a love letter? I see. That, that, that's, in, that's interesting. Wow. Uh, what do you think she intends to do? Date him? What? This, this is a big problem, isn't it? Oh, I mean, uh, it's not like there's anything going on between me and Karen, you know? We're just friends. So it's not my business who she goes out with. I don't have much to say about it. But, you know, I do have a duty to make sure that everyone is living up to the high levels of our night... High ideals of our night school, right? I mean, ideal love is unfettered and passionate. Anything less than that can't really be called love at all. You know what I mean? So I should just step in and make sure that she's found a true love that aspires to the highest ideals of our fine educational institution, right? And what about me? I have the right to experience an unfettered, passionate love too, don't I? You understand, don't you, Link? You like her? What? Don't be ridiculous. I don't even understand how you could make such a wild accusation. Well, either way. 
I don't suppose you mind asking her what a decision is going to be, would you? Okay. I think this is it now. I keep going to the kitchen. <laughs> You're the one who sent the letter, right? Yes. It was a wonderful love letter. Thank you. It wasn't that great. And um, what's your answer? My answer? Ah, my answer. Oh, please. Please go out with me. Wait. I think you should go out with me instead. I mean, I want to ask you out. What? Hey, hold on there. What are you trying to pull all of a sudden? Uh, I want to go out with you, Pip. I want to go out with Pippet. Ha. Huh. See that fool? I knew she would choose me. She's been checking me out for weeks. Oh, uh, wait a second. Wait, really? Truly, you choose me? Yes. I'm so happy. Thank you. This can't be happening. Blank. When you told me about the letter, it was at that moment I finally realized. I realized that I love her. I thought to myself, I can't let anyone else take her from me. If you hadn't told me, I might never have even noticed my own feelings for her. I'm so grateful. I don't even know how I can ever thank you. Oh, that's 30 now. Okay, I can go back. Alright, well that's done. I'm not going to check up on him. <laughs> Unless... I don't think he'd be grateful for that. He'd probably be crying himself to sleep. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the stamina potion. Since you gave it to me, I've been doing push-ups like a machine. You'll see, I'll be as tough as you in no time. Alright, that progresses that. Progresses that quest more. Okay, hold on. I need to get this bug. <laughs> Fuck. Roll. There we go. reward, please. 1,000. Nice. You've made such magnificent progress gathering gratitude crystals. Okay. Oh. Bonus item. No, I beg you. Stop that chest is not to be opened under any circumstances. There's something unspeakable inside. What? That chest contains the dreaded cursed metal. If you carry that metal, you'll find more rupees than ever. You'll even have better chances of discovering treasure. You'll... Oh, don't make me say it. Say it. It gets worse. Far, far worse. And the poor soul who holds that metal will find himself unable to open his pouch. No matter how badly you want to use potions or shields, they'll be denied to you. Can you imagine a more gruesome fate? 
please push any thought. Okay. Yeah, but it is annoying. You're right. But shouldn't that be a red flag? I'm gathering these gratitude crystals for him. And uh, suddenly this cursed item appears. Okay, let's just make sure. Yeah, I was right, so it is over there. Alright, we got some stuff to do first. I'm going to get all the sky chests that I found. And then going to get the soup. for later. I'm just going to move them off. Um, okay, this way. So what am I looking at here? It looks like there's more. This is the right island, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. off the other edge. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, this doesn't go anywhere. Where is this chest? Thank you. 
Okay. Going there next. See, when it works, it's instant, so I guess. Just need to be patient. Yeah, just in time. Just in time for another job, that is. Next job is to help pick up the pumpkins. Sure. Mm. This should be an easy one for you. Ka Akina spends her afternoons picking pumpkins in the patch. Carry those to the storage shed. Akina can give you the details. But you can only work on the patch during the day. There's no telling what will happen under the night sky. Okay, we'll do that first. Your next job has been decided. Looks like you'll be helping with the pumpkin harvest. What a relief. Do you have any idea how heavy those pumpkins are? Oh yeah. You think there's gonna be a piece of pumpkin cake, don't you? Pumpkin cake? <laughs> Is there such a thing as pumpkin cake? I've heard of pumpkin pie, but not cake. How about you carry five at once? You better take it slow or you're risk dropping them. Let's do it. carry them there. Walk slowly. Okay, it's a balancing thing. Got it. Oh, this is already a fucking mess. We're gonna destroy the whole harvest at this rate. Why isn't it bouncing? Aww. Hang on, why isn't it bouncing? I'm not allowed to do one at a time. Oh no, there's, there's no gyro. Okay, it's, it's just... Alright, there's no gyro, it's just... Well, you've never gotten groceries out of a car and just tried to make one trip? Instead of going back and forth six times? But see, this is a problem now. I, I, I'm trying to walk forward, but it's not letting me.
There we go. I just knew you'd come through. You managed to carry them all. I guess that means you're done carrying pumpkins. Thank you very much. If, if you think if you're going to damage the things, it'll take more time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, within reason. I don't know why she asks for five, to be honest. It is, it is strange. Like, maybe she just wants to see how strong Link is. Oh, to you, what should I have you work on next? Oh, yeah. You've got that interesting looking instrument. I got it. The perfect job for you. But that job can only be done at night. Wait until nightfall and come back to see me. How did I even stack them that high? Uh, I don't know. She did. Probably use a step ladder. If you want to catch a bunch of bugs. Okay. Maybe no. Is there a bed here or something that I can rest? I feel like there should be a bed here. Yep, here. A ladder would have had to have been involved. Okay. Ah, you came. Let me see. What was it I needed you to do next? Hey, what's that? A strange looking instrument you have there. Oh yes. You might be just surprised to hear that Kina is actually quite the singer. It wasn't that long ago that she would sing for our customers, but she had to stop because her partner quit. Think you'd be willing to do a quick duet with uh, Kina? Sure. Great, that's what I want to hear. But make sure you put your heart into it. I won't stand for anything but your best. Customers will start waving their arms as Kina sings her song. But you can just follow them if you need a guide to the rhythm you should be playing. Pick a customer whose movements is easy to follow. Strum to the right tempo. Don't worry about the direction you're strumming. Okay. <laughs> Guess father, what is it? This kid's going to accompany you while you sing. How about letting your pops hear that beautiful voice of yours? Of course, let's do it, kid. I did. I did bad. Aww. Hang on, do it again. Oh. Explain it again. What did I do wrong? Customers will start waving their arms as she sings her song, so you can just follow them if you need a guide to the rhythm. Pick a customer, stay with them in the right tempo. Okay. So when they stop moving, it's just freestyle. That's what I did, but maybe because I hesitated, that might be why.
I guess you could call that playing, sort of. To tell you the truth, I found your performance a little lacking. What do you mean? <sighs> I'm going to buy a new... Sh you know, I'm going to buy a new chandelier to replace the old and it really fancy out of the place. Considering all the hard work you put around, I feel you should... Give you a little something. Take this. Cool. So let me get this straight. I walk in here. I break their chandelier to get a heart. I go through all this work, and then he gives me another heart. <laughs> Is this just a payment? So it's like, hey, I'm getting a new chandelier. Just so you don't, uh, you don't break it. Here's one in advance. Just don't break my new chandelier, please. I'm just gonna look quickly out here and see if there's any gratitude crystals. Awesome here at night time. Doesn't look like it. Okay. <laughs> Protection money. <laughs> I've, I've, uh, yeah, I've become a, a mobster. Be a real shame if something would have happened to that chandelier. You know what I, you know what I'm saying? Maybe if, uh, you know give me a little bit of a down payment, I might be able to ensure nothing happens to that chandelier. Oi. What do you think of this new chandelier? Tell me. Oh, uh, let me tell you, this beauty sent me back quite a bit. You think I spent too much on it? Don't be a wet blanket. It's thanks to your hard work that I was able to buy such a stun over a chandelier. What do you mean, hard work? I delivered one soup, moved five pumpkins, broke ten, and then played a song. How much money could that possibly earn you? Just for all the time's sake, and of course I'll pay you for all the time. You want to make some money playing a heart for us, or maybe you just want some soup? Soup. I'm impressed that a young man like yourself can appreciate the refined taste. Ugh, I need to sneeze. 10 rupees a bottle. Fill her up. Okay. I'm gonna go deliver the soup. <laughs> the economy works. Just the play. Imagine you can do that, just purchase things with a song. Uh, I might not have any money, but I'll give you... I'll give you an enriching experience through song. It might work. I mean, the next time you go get a beverage from someplace, whether it be tea or coffee, try and pay for it with a song. Let me know how it goes. You can't sing? No, well, you can sing, you just can't sing well. Everyone can sing. Dredging some things up from a mystical world beneath the clouds. Doesn't even sounds like that. Gun actually bought into the whole thing though. That's why he's always tinkering with that busted robot. No, but it's soup. Soup. 
Didn't you say you wanted soup? Yeah. I just drank the soup. <laughs> In this face. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, that's that's gone. They charge more for the trauma. Or they'll pay you to shut up, which, I mean, either way, that means you win. You just pay them with the, the money to keep you quiet. Still boils down to getting the beverage for free. <laughs> you wanted soup? What's this? You want soup? You want this? This? This right here? Too bad. Just proceed to just drink. Despite the soup being boiling hot, Link just downed the whole bottle. Just, his esophagus is now in shambles, just because... Um, I don't remember specifically where this is, so... We'll go with the R. I think this is probably the wise spot. Let's just see. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Not bad. Oh, there's also something else I can do here now as well. I guess since we're here. This might even be the... F oh, it is the fan part, actually. I know where this is exactly. Look at that. Oh, it's good to have this medallion now. Over here. This is the windmill propeller you were searching for. It is now possible to retrieve this using the robot whose services we have enlisted. Yes. I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission master. Telepathy working on on a robot who has a crush on a sword spirit. Mental. <laughs> Mistress V, I hope you weren't waiting long. So you want me to carry this? 
Hey, Master Shot Pants, you're in my way here. I said get out of the way. I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take too long. I suggest that we also return to the sky and collect the propeller as soon as possible. Yeah, we're good. Just gotta find the nearest safe point. I think it's just out here, even. Okay, hang on. Before we do, I just noticed that. Sky. Yeah. Doesn't matter where I land, I think. Yeah, it just does that. <laughs> Maybe because this quest is active, that's why the soup thing got locked off, but we'll see. Here's the windmill propeller. If you need me, feel free to call. For Mistress Fee, I will travel to any destination. Whoa, isn't that the beat-up old robot from Gondo's place? Wait just a second. Is that it? It is. That's the windmill propeller. That thing was supposed to have fallen down below the clouds. Are you saying that whole story handed down through Gondo's family was actually true? Hmm, somehow I get the feeling this is all some elaborate prank, but I guess I'll try to fix the thing. This goes in here, and I just crank that a few clicks. Ugh. <sighs> That ought to do it. If you can find some way to spin the propeller, you can probably turn the windmill around. Honey, honey! Oh no, I think I might have promised my wife I'd fix our cupboard. I swear, that woman's always looking for somebody. See you around, Link. No soup. Yeah, there we go. Since I already had the other one set up. <laughs> Who's his wife? This is his wife. This would be funny if it's her. He's not in here. She's already messed up the place again. But that is, uh, just the way you make money. Oh. 
Climbing the ladder. Okay. Oh yeah, right. And then the hop. Right, hop. Yeah. Or is it? Let's say. Let the sound. Let's sound the goddess's song beneath the last radiance. Yeah. Ah. Okay, there we go. this last night <laughs> last night wouldn't register His mouth is just open. <laughs> like it's yelling. That doesn't look like the mouth of someone that's singing. There is a high probability that this beam of light will lead us to clues as to the whereabouts of the three flames. I recommend that you investigate what lies at the end of this beam of light. <laughs> Thanks for the stamina potion. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still not ready to progress yet. Okay, chat. Short intermission, but we will continue. I just need to stretch legs, get drink, and uh, yeah. Take a small break as it's been a couple of hours already, but I do hope you're enjoying so far if you're watching on YouTube later. But this is where we bid you farewell. <laughs> and we'll be back sooner than you think, hopefully. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Bye, YouTube. <laughs>